up the production of this game for 2021. So from here, you will add the production for this year. Right. And you think about to production 2022 next year, gotcha. that will be the spool. Gotcha. So next year, when I come to prune next winter, I will think, here we'll have a couple of canes here. I'm gonna come down, cut one, six, seven buds. That will be my production for next year. And this area here, where I produce this year, I will look for a spool to renew this area for next year. So he's always thinking about production, renewal, production, renewal, production, renewal. So came for production, renewal, came for production, cut the this, renewal. Production, renewal, production, renewal. So I renew close to the area where I did my production. So I don't lose position. And, and, and by the book, you should have around, you know, three or five shoots per foot of canopy. So here we have the production, the next one will be here. And in between you have a renewal. So you see between production, renewal, production, we can think about that we have a good distance between all the shoots in the summer and all the shoots that we're gonna be the production on next year. Okay, now, not all the, not all the reproduction cane are good, okay? You need to be very selective in the way you, 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 you choose where you will be your production. The best canes are the canes that in general grows on top of the vines, okay? If they grow under here, in the shade of last year, if you grow like in this direction here, those are not really good, okay? Because they are in the shade. You need to think always to put the, the shoots on top here, top, top. Everything needs to be on top. When you make a cut, if there is something hanging down here, you remove it. You select the things that are on top. Why they need to be on top? Because they get the sun, okay? You want to be always under the sun. So think about a vine like a solar panel. It needs to get the sun. So to get the sun, it cannot be here. It needs to be on top. So the shoots needs to be here, come up, get the sun and come down. So if you're already here, it's gonna go straight down. It doesn't get a lot of sun. So for example, this is not really good, okay? Because it's already under the, the, the shade of a lot of shoots that we grow here. This one is very good. Comes from the top, goes outside. So you can imagine these shoots will go down, will go down and will be under the sun, okay? So that's a very good position for a production cane. That's not so much, that's not so much. This is a good position. So everything that comes out and it sticks out and it stays under the sun is very good. Everything you think it would be in the shade, not really good, okay? The same thing when you think about the renewal spurs. Never get a too bad spur that's under here, okay? You need to get something that's always on top, like this, okay? So, if this is a very good one, two buds, one and two, that will be my renewal for next year. So they will grow, come out, so one of these two canes will be my production cane. When I come here next year to prune, from one of these two buds, I will have something like this. Mm -hmm. I go in front of this and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, stick. That will be my 2022 production from this little spool that I left this year, okay? So everything, when you see here, when you come in front of the vine, everything is below here, goes away, clean. You wanna be on top of this okay. thing. Any question? So if I'm looking here, yeah, very right? good. Yeah, I've got production. Correct. I've got renewal. Here, uh, your renewal. Renewal here. Yeah. Okay, this is a renewal, right? That's a renewal. Okay. Now that production. Okay. 
Going up. Looking good. Looking good. But I got production right next Correct. to it. Too much. Too much. I'd take that off. Would I would I? I would do this. Yep. You got it here? Yep. And for this one. Got production it. here is for yep. production. Yep. Okay? Yep. Cool. Clean it up. Cut those two. Cut it up. Yeah, that's and how, clean. how far do we go? Right up to the okay. vine here or no. Uh, may I? Okay. Every time you make a cut <laughs> on a permanent structure like this, okay? So if I wanted to clean this one because it's dead, you know. This one is dead, it don't test any bud. The first, the first point of a, a live tissue is here. I don't go, you don't cut very close to the other structure. Okay. You leave a little bit of stub like this. Gotcha. A little bit of stub because this stuff will dry out a little bit and it's gonna die. Mm -hmm. So if you, cut, if you cut too close to the other structure, it's gonna die inside the live part. Mm -hmm. So it's better to leave a little bit of stub, okay? Not so much like this, it's fine. Okay. But leave an extra distance between the live portion and the dead portion. Okay. okay? Possible? Yeah. Do you alternate? Is what I'm saying. The, yeah. the mud that pushes from here yeah. will be a pain. Maybe yep. closer to here. That'll yeah. be your spur. Okay. So this will be two-year-old wood next year. Yep. But the next canes that come out of here will be one-year-old wood. Which probably I will have a spur here. Okay. Something like this. It would be on top, close to the light. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So it's like this. You see. Uh -huh. It went up the last year, so now we get this one and we get another one on we top get another here. another one that way. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't mean that, you know, the position will change a little bit. Right. The only thing that we need to do is to, to make the mistake to go too away from the center of the vine. So every time you prune, try, try to stay close to the center of the vine. Okay. And, uh, and if you have some very strange stuff going on on this, crossing this other vine, you know, a shady the other vine, we cut them out. Okay. Okay? Yep. So it's better to keep, do the pruning close to the main stock and not so far out? Not so far out because you start to shade the other vine, you know. Okay. Don't shade the other one. No, let the, let the other vine do the work. That's the work. Because here you don't lack vigor. This variety grows a lot. And so you're going to have a lot of options to choose here. No, not a problem. The problem Leave the reproduction canes a little bit longer, okay? Not to three or four buds, but six, seven, or eight. Mm -hmm. So keep this production canes a little bit longer for a lot of reasons. First, you get a little bit more crop. Second, this variety tends to bud break very early. It's one of the earliest varieties that bud breaks. With this kind of days and sun, they're gonna bud break very early. So they tend to be very prone to frost. Mm -hmm. So if you have a very short cane and this is gonna push and they die with the frost, mm -hmm. you're done. If it's very long, you have the apical bud pushing and they get frosted out, that's fine. You still have the bottom ones. So get this a little bit longer in case you have a spring frost. Terminology. Eh? Mm -hmm.